I am Anil Kumar and on request of my students, I am trying to explain you co-function identities once again. And this time, what I have done is that I have made two videos on co-function identities. This one is when we will take angles, which are acute angles, angles in quadrant 1. Right? And then in the next video, we will consider obtuse angle or any general angle. Right? So let us first understand the very basics of co-function identities. So when we are saying co-function identities, we are trying to relate trigonometric ratios in a triangle with respect to two of its angles. So in a right triangle, you will see all, always one angle is, let us say, theta, then the other will be 90 minus theta, right? That makes sense, correct? So in such a triangle, if I have cos of theta, then that will be related with sine of 90 minus theta and both will be same, right? Will be same as sine 90 minus theta. Similarly, sine of theta will be equals to cos of 90 minus theta and tan of theta will be equals to cotangent of 90 minus theta. Now that is what we call co-function identities. Now when we are considering angles which are acute angles, then we know all these values are all are positive, right? So that is why whenever I draw these quadrants, right, kind of like this, we say here, all positive, correct? Okay? Now in the next video, we will consider when the angle is more than 90 degrees, then quadrant 2 sine will be positive, quadrant 3 tan will be positive, and in 4 cos will be positive. That will actually change some of these signs, that is all, some of these signs. But otherwise, the concept is very simple. You have to take the other angle for the co-function which is 90 minus theta, or if you are working in radians, it should be theta with pi by 2 minus theta. That gives you co-function identities. I think I'm clear, right? Now, let me give you a few examples. We'll slowly move through. First, taking examples in degrees, right? So, let's say, what is the co-function identity for cos of 30 degrees? What is the co-function identity for sine of 45 degrees? Tan of, let us say, 10 degrees? And... Uh, cotangent of 70 degrees. So what we need to do is whenever you are looking at pi by 2 minus theta you are looking from the other side of the triangle so the opposite becomes adjacent that's the whole idea which reverses so co-function identity could be written as for cos we can write sine as far as the angle is concerned 90 minus 30 which gives us 60 degrees you get the concept for sine, we'll write this as cos. 90 minus 45 is 45 itself. Tan, 10 will be cotangent. 90 minus 10 will be 80 degrees. For cotangent, it will be tan, 70. So 90 minus 70 is 20 degrees, correct? So that is how you can get your answers. Now here are a few tricky ones. That is... What is sine 0 degrees equals to cos 0 degrees equals to tan 0 degrees equal to? Think about it while we work on the radians, okay? I hope that should give you a good time while I prepare myself for the radians, okay? Now in radians, we'll write the same angles, but in radians, right? So let's begin by saying cos of, uh, let us say, pi by 6. So if I say cos of pi by 6, then it should be sine, but sine of pi by 2 minus pi by 6. That is one way of looking into it. But the other way is pi by 6 means this total pi is divided into 6 portions. We have taken the first one in coordinate 3, we have 3, so 2 are left. So it is sine 2 pi by 6, which could be written as sine pi by 3, right? So you could count angles and do, or you can actually 
do the math with uh, pi by 2 minus. So we'll take another one which is sine of let us say 3 pi by uh, let us say 3 pi by 7. Now in this case it should be cos of pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 7 correct. So now if you do your math it will be 7 pi minus 6 pi right cross multiply 7 minus 6 will give us cos of pi 7 minus 6 over 14 correct so that is your co-function identity okay now let's do for 10 right let me take some odd numbers we'll say 5 pi by uh, let us say 21 okay so in that case tan will be cotangent right and what we are trying to find is pi by 2 minus 5 pi by 21 correct so these two get multiplied so we get cot of try to do your math get the answer okay here is the answer so 2 times 21 will be 42 and here when we multiply it we get 21 minus 10 so that means 21 minus 10 is 11 so we get cot of 11 pi by 42 right so likewise we can do for any angle right so we can continue this say cot of 3 pi by let us say 8 okay this is still since it is less than 4 pi 4 pi is 90 right so we know it is 1 less than 90 so it could be 10 or do like this or straight you can write pi by 8 is it okay or if I have secant secant uh, let's say 5 pi by so let's say so we want to take it in in so it has to be more than 10 so let me write this as 12 okay secant is cosecant is the co function for secant correct and we have already so in quarter there will be 6 pi by 12 right that in pi by 2 there will be 6 pi by 2 so we left with 1 so we will pi by 12 well you can do pi by 2 minus and get the answer right so like this we can have many right so we can have cosecant uh, for example let me do this for you cosecant 0 radians will be how much so figure that out now remember one more thing that zeros are very important to understand uh, for these zeros what we should do is we should try to understand that tan theta is sine theta over cos theta right so if cos theta is 0 tan theta will not exist do you understand and if sine theta is 0 cotangent theta will not exist so take that into consideration when you answer this correct now when we talk about the zeros sine 0 will be 90 minus 0 for cosine so that is cos of 90 degrees cos 0 will be sine of 90 degrees but tan 0 is sine 0 over cos 0 since cos 0 is I mean since sine 0 is 0 so we get the answer as 1 over 0 right which is not possible so for tan 0 we have to write cotangent of 90 degrees you see so that should help you like this also let's again look into it sine graph is kind of like this right I'm just giving you alternate ways of thinking about it since tan and cotangent are not always valid they have restricted domain right so like this we're talking about cos pi by 2 when we say sine over cos right as far as the zero is concerned then sine zero is zero you can see but cos zero is I mean cos 90 so sine zero equals to cos 90 that's fine cos zero is one and sine 90 is is one that makes sense correct but as far as tan 0 is concerned tan is sine over cos and as you know tan 0 is 0 right so as far as cotangent is concerned it is cos over sine so it has to be cotangent 90 degrees correct so these are correct answers is that okay now however 
if I write here cot of 0 degrees, then, then what? Now, cot of 0 is cos over sine, which does not exist. Do you see that? So, that one does not exist. That is kind of a catch in this one. But rest, I think, are very clear and straightforward. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.